Good day, future leaders. Welcome to Lesson 9, The Concrete Planning from Strategy to Operations. Decision-making skills and the commitment towards a unified goals are expected in this lesson. While it is important for an art organization to have a vision and mission statement as a prerequisite to planning in its project and operation, there is one aspect uh, in key to success. Without a strategy, Mission and vision na pinag-aralan natin noong nakaraan will be a such a wish only. The overall master plan called the strategic plan is a framework that keeps organizations grounded. And the strategic plan may be geared towards a particular direction gaya ng stability, expansion, uh, retrenchment, and a combination ng lahat ng yon or lahat talaga na yon. So within the strategic plan, Various operational plans are devised to meet the objectives, and the process of planning draws out a specific action to be taken in order to meet the organization's uh, short and long-term goals. Planning is a tedious process. The reality, however, is that the most art organizations in the Philippines do not go through the rigorous stages of planning, and most of them are trial and error process lamang. More often than not, the actions taken are in response to a situation. However, there is a need to outgrow this tendency. Running an art organization need not to be reactionary. Decision-making skills need not to be exercised only as a reaction to a situation. This is only a result to wasted time and resources. Worse, it often causes organizations to bicker and disintegrate. Planning shows a concrete commitment to the organization and to the arts. This is the reason why strategy is important. It makes things work and last. Strategic planning is an efficient way to run organizations. Let's begin. An organizational strategy is necessary in a changing world. An overall strategic plan incorporates the vision and mission followed by a standing use plan. Ano naman ang standing use plan? It is a long-term plan crafted by a top-level managers of an organization. It is different from a single-use plan that has a budget, production schedule, timeline, and talents. A standing use plan is like a manual of policies, standard operating procedures, and ground rules. It is designed to be used repeatedly. However, strategic planning usually draws on one of these approaches. Ano-ano yung mga approaches na pwede natin gamitin? Number one, we have dealing with equilibrium, dealing with expansion, dealing with reduction. Dealing with equilibrium. The basic assumption is that the organization is doing well. This does not mean that the organization will rest easy. It means that the organization has to be vigilant and that its activities are geared towards maintaining its standing while minimizing risk. Ibig sabihin, dapat meron tayong mga marketing strategies or strategies sa company na para mag-maintain ang isang negosyo. Di baling, ah, hindi siya masyadong mag-boom within this year as long as nakaka-incorporate yung mga profit na pumapasok sa business o pambayad man lang dun sa mga operating costs. Dealing with expansion is another strategy that you can use. It is the basic assumption that the organization is growing at a steady rate and there is need to start new programs or even a new branch. There is a huge demand for the organization's creative work and services. Growing may also have to do with the diversifying creative products and services. With expansion comes increased overhead costs and cost is always a risk. A risk means there's no guarantee that it can be are retrieved or it will be affect the organization's resources. So therefore, an expansion strategy is coupled with managing costs. Isa dito, yung mga binanggit natin, pwede kayo mag-open ng new branch or magdagdag kayo ng new product strategy para ma-maintain ninyo yung inyong mga uh, existing customers. And para naman sa expansion strategy, pwede kayo magdagdag ng mga marketing strategy para mag-open kayo ng iba or bagong customers. 
Dealing with reduction, the assumption is that the organization is going through some setbacks. It can also be a uh, that the organization has a stagnant in terms of growth and there might be a slowdown in project due to the lack of resources. And there might also be a crisis due to the exodus of the personnel. As a result, the organization must cut back on its activities and phase out some of its program. This is the most challenging stage that an organization can go through. It could be uh, one successful organization that is how only a uh, semblance of its former glory or its new en- entity that has difficulty flying off the ground. Sabihin kapag meron mga uh, something na dapat pang idagdag pero kinukulang na sa, gad- sa budget, kailangan na natin magbawas sa mga dapat kasusin. Like, li ngayon, kakaro- meron tayong pandemic, so maaari natin gamitin source or platform ang uh, internet or social media para makabawas din sa gastusin. Lalo na at hindi naman masyadong lumalabas ang mga tao ngayon. Hybrid strategy is the assumption that the organization might be expanding in few areas, stables in some, and going through the setbacks of few others. So you can use uh, the three first strategies na binanggit ko kaganina, gaya ng dealing with equilibrium, dealing with expansion, or dealing with reduction. You can use all of them or just the two of uh, the strategies given. The SWOT analysis stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. It is an analytical framework to identify and analyze the logical impact of a project or product or service, place or person internally and externally, o tinatawag na macro or micro. Formulating strategy requires an honest assessment of an organization situation. So what analysis of the local or the organization itself is needed. Lahat ng businesses na may strategy na ginagawa ay may SWOT analysis. It is preferably by external consultants or cultural workers to ensure uh, neurotically uh, objective result. This is important for coming up with an objective assessment. Only then can the organization revise the strategies or come up with the new ones. Strategy also contains goals, objectives, action plans, and evaluation system. Mahalaga na malaman natin ang SWOT analysis kung meron ba tayong strength compares sa ka-competitors natin. Ano yung mga weakness ng competitors natin para malaman natin at may adjust kung anong strategy laban sa kanila. Lalo na at meron tayong kaparehas na art organization na bubuin pagdating ng araw. After nating malaman kung ano ang SWOT analysis ng competitors natin and same as with your organization, magbigay naman tayo ng kung ano ang goals and objectives natin. But first define what is goal. Goal contain the desired amount or outcome while objectives are the concrete means to achieve the goals under a particular strategy. Goals are always shaped by specific strategy and objective address how these goals are fulfilled using a very specific methods. Drawing up is a list of goals and objectives starts with an evolution of an organization. It is a way to find out in uh, what state of an organization is currently in. Another strategy is an evaluation system. This is a system by which an organization will assess the impact of its action plan on its performance and its ability to achieve its goals. Undertaking a periodic evaluation allows an organization to sustain a strategy or modify and improve its necessary. The next slide, I will give you an example of a strategic planning process by Bearness 2009, page 88. This is the sample strategic planning process. As you can see, there is an evaluate organization where uh, you might know kung nasa na ba kayo or saan yung gustong pumunta. So supposedly, dapat meron kayong mission and vision and what are your goals. 
And kailangan meron din kayong SWOT analysis para ma-assess natin kung ano yung mga dapat pa natin i-improve. Assess available resource. Meron ka bang, uh, kumpleto ka ba sa tao? Available ba ang resources financially? Adequate ba ang support coming your from your family, friends? Kasama na rin dito ang finances. And meron din dapat na strategy. That's the next step. Equilibrium, pwedeng gamitin ang hybrid strategy or you can use uh, at least dalawa dun sa mga binanggit kong strategy kanina. Pwedeng equilibrium lang or expansion or pwedeng expansion lang or reduction. Or you can use all of them. And the next step, kamang meron ka ng strategy is the operations. Develop your goals kasi nagkaroon ka na ng assessment on sa first steps. Develop your action plans for your daily basis and evaluate kung nagagawa ba yun every day. So as for the goals, ano yung desired outcome mo? Like for example, uh, makapag-reach out ka ng mga older audiences kasi balak mo magkaroon ng isang event. So, bakit older audiences? Kasi mga older audiences, possible may trabaho sila, meron silang pera. And what are your objectives? The methods and uh, goals na kailangan mo. Like for example, ang i-invite mong mga guests sa event mo ay ang parents, mom, or yung anak nila. Ganun, para sa painting class. Next is, what is your action plans? Kailangan specific yung task and resources. Like for example, uh, redesign workshop schedule. Kailangan magkaroon ng allocation ng budget and support. Kailangan mo ba ng teacher para sa painting uh, session class? Or kailangan mo ba ng additional books para ibibigay doon sa mga bata? Kailangan mo bang magprint ng mga posters and so on. As for evaluation, assessment tools na ginagamit for everyday or after ng event, kung anong nangyari, kailangan kasi ng feedback coming from your customers. Track how many mothers enroll with their child in an art studio branches or yung mga kalaban mo compares dun sa uh, ginawa mong event. And yung mga uh, feedback and reflection and for improvement, maari mong gamitin yon para mag-evaluate ulit doon sa unang steps na ginawa mo, which is evaluate organization. An action plan is a detailed breakdown of an organization's objective and the specific tasks and activities it needs to undertake to achieve each one. It specifies the assigned resources and deadline for each task. These tasks are time-bound and measurable. So therefore, a tracking system is required to certain or ascertain that tasks are within target. An action plan allows to be more specific, efficient, and systematic allocation of resources needed to meet, to meet the objectives. So, the next slide will show you the sample of an action plan that integrates the organization's strategy. Okay, ito ay sample lamang ng action plan. Based dito, their mission is to be an arts organization that makes a difference with its program in their community. So, analyze natin. Meron silang isinaad dito na objectives to increase the total number of enrollees in painting classes kasi based doon sa feedback nila, siguro dahil nagsisimula pa lang sila, kaunti pa lang yung enrollees nila that day. To increase the ethnic diversity, hindi lang tiga antepolo, ang uh, ano nila ang enrollees nila possible na i-open nila to from other uh, cities so based doon sa objective nila ano yung action plans na gagawin number one create an audience development campaign plan in four weeks ano, ano yung mga gagawin they will conduct a survey to see which programs are favored by enrollees in art school within the three weeks so pababa ng pababa uh, kailangan specific weekly, week by weeks, ano yung mga actions na gagawin nila para ma-achieve nila yung objectives na sinabi nila dito. And based on sa responsibility, sino-sino yung mga kailangan na makilaho para ma-achieve yung objectives. Nandito ang marketing director, staff. Ayan. And what about the budget line? Sino-sino naman yung mga dapat nahinga ng budget Nandiyan ang PR budget, marketing department. 
And kung ano yung mga status, pwede kayong maglagay dito kung tapos na, kung to be developed or in progress pa lang siya, or in planning process and so on. Lastly, operations. All operations stem from the overall strategy. It identifies the necessary elements needed for carrying out the strategy. An operations plan include the programming, marketing, and sustaining initiatives. So, uh, for the next modules, pag-aaralan natin kung paano ginagawa ang programming and marketing. So, next slide tayo. Ito ay sample ng planning document Nagaling pa rin kay Barnes 2009, page 93 naman. So, there is a dynamic interaction between overall strategic plans and operations plan in specific area of an organizations. Actually, ang overall strategic plan na ginagamit sa operations ay pang daily basis na siya. Kung ito ba ay nagagawa for the whole month, whole week, or whole year.